As we all know, this world is filled with all types of animals, from microscopic critters to massive land-dominating beasts. For instance, which slithering reptiles are longer than a school bus? Also, did you know that there are some insects out there that are longer than dogs? Stick around today as we go over the 10 largest land creatures on the planet. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Coconut crabs. Today we'll start with one of the wildest creatures on planet Earth that not many people know about, the coconut crab. A species that's also known as the robber crab, these things can weigh up to nine pounds. The coconut crab can be found throughout the tropical islands in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. These are the world's largest arthropods and can weigh as much as nine pounds. A nine pound crab. Are you kidding me? And get this, they're also super strong. Their long legs, which can reach as much as four feet, can be used to lift anywhere between 30 and 60 pounds. But perhaps the most extreme thing about the creepy, super tough coconut crab is their diet. Like their name suggests, these animals, through evolution, have developed the ability to actually crack a coconut, something that, even with the sharpest of knives, is quite the task. Besides coconuts, these crabs will also cannibalize, eating not only other coconut crabs, but also their own exoskeleton that comes off of their body during the molting process. Ugh. Let's move on, because up next we've got one of the scariest animals on the planet. Green Anaconda if you lined everyone in the world up in a line and asked them one by one what is the scariest animal living on Earth today, I bet a fair share of them would say a snake. And when it comes to big snakes, there's nothing out there with the length and weight of the green anaconda, coming in stretching almost 20 feet long and weighing more than 550 pounds. The green anaconda can be found in multiple places across South America, including Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Venezuela, and more. These snakes are carnivores and will feast on anything they can catch, including humans. Well, maybe. There actually isn't any evidence of a green anaconda ever swallowing a human being whole, although there are reports of people being killed by the animal. Most scientists conclude, however, that the green anaconda would most likely not be able to wrap its jaws around our shoulders. So, I guess we should take some comfort in that. Walrus I know, I know. We said land animals in today's title. However, you should know that walruses enjoy life both underwater and on land, so they're totally fine for today's episode. But anyway, the reason they're included in today's countdown is because they're absolutely huge. I'm talking up to 5,000 pounds huge. These giant creatures, which typically dine on food that they find on the ocean floor, can hold their breath underwater for more than 30 minutes. Sea cucumbers, worms, mollusks, and crabs mainly make up their diet. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like a pretty good seafood salad to me. Okay, maybe not. These beautiful, blubbery creatures who thrive in the water but are still quite fast on land only have two natural predators, polar bears and killer whales. Up next, we've got the one animal with the highest rate of mortal combats than any other on Earth. Black Rhino Let's move along. This thick-skinned behemoth is called the Black Rhino and they live in several different eastern and southeastern countries in Africa. These solitary animals don't really mingle with others in their species. In fact, the only time you'll usually see a pair is when there's a mother with her calf. These animals are also one of the most aggressive of all the rhinos and will often threaten or charge at potential threats. Now, while these extra-large horned animals do look pretty tough, they mainly feast on a diet of leafy plants, branches, fruits, and bushes. Out in the wild, the black rhino can live for anywhere between 35 and 50 years. 
Goliath Frog Frogs are generally revered by animal lovers, as the unique happy amphibian is quite unique. For starters, did you know that there are more than 5,000 different species of frogs? <laughs> yeah, 5,000. Also, most frogs don't even need to drink water, as they're able to absorb it directly through their skin. Since we're talking about incredibly large land animals, there is no larger frog than the Goliath frog, also known as the Goliath bullfrog or the giant slippery frog. These hefty fellas and ladies can be found in Cameroon and the Equatorial Guinea. An interesting thing about this species is that, as frog tadpoles, they're herbivorous, eating just aquatic plants until they reach maturity. And once that happens, they become carnivorous, consuming pretty much anything that's smaller than they are. This means that worms, scorpions, fish, snakes, and even other smaller frogs are all on the menu. Komodo Dragon The largest lizard with legs on planet Earth, at least still living today, is the Komodo Dragon. Found in the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Flores, Gilimotang, and Rinka, these animals can reach a massive 10 feet in length. Originally from Australia, these violent dinosaur-looking animals have a bite that you definitely don't want to get bitten by. Komodos are venomous, one of the few venomous reptiles on Earth, a fact that wasn't even established until the year 2009. The venom from a Komodo is known to suddenly decrease the victim's blood pressure, which in turn speeds up blood loss, effectively sending the victim into shock. This aids the animal in its hunting method. The Komodo dragon, whose skin blends in perfectly with the dirty, sandy surroundings, will lie in wait, patiently standing by as their prey wanders too near. Then, in an instant, the dragon will sprint out and land a bite on the unsuspecting meal. The animal may manage to escape the jaws of the Komodo, but once the venom seeps in, it becomes incapacitated, allowing the large reptile to easily track it down with its keen sense of smell. But what obviously large land mammal have we yet to discuss? Stick around for two more seconds as something tells me that you're about to find out. Elephant we can't have a discussion about large land animals without talking about the obvious. Elephants, as we know them, are made up of three different species, the African savanna, the African forest, and the Asian elephant. These massive mammals are known for their big floppy ears, flexible trunks, and ivory tusks. These are the world's largest land mammals. Male African elephants can be as tall as 10 feet and weigh as much as 1,700 pounds. I don't know about you, but I'd say that that's pretty big. The Flemish Giant Rabbit Sometimes, small things come in big sizes, and this next animal demonstrates that perfectly. Meet the Flemish Giant Rabbit, the largest rabbit or hare in the world. I think that I speak for most people when I say that when it comes to house pets, dogs and cats are probably at the top of that list. But some people love rabbits, and it's not hard to see why. They're really, really cute. Between the big floppy ears to that soft fur, they just look adorable. A male Flemish giant can weigh up to 22 pounds. And while many people love to use these animals as pets, they were actually originally bred for their fur and their meat. So, uh, anybody out there down for a little rabbit stew? Kodiak Island Brown Bear We've talked about a bunch of different animals today, but none may be more ferocious than the Kodiak Island Brown Bear. These are the largest bears in the world. A fully grown male can be over 10 feet tall and weigh as much as 1,500 pounds. And trust me, when we use the word ferocious, we don't do it lightly. A litter of newborn cubs could be anywhere from two to three animals, but over 25% of newborn cubs don't make it out of the den, with cannibalism by adult male Kodiak brown bears as one of the major contributing factors. 
While they're technically omnivores, meaning they eat both meat and vegetation, these animals are the largest meat eaters in the world. They just are still known to have a little grassy salad with their meat every now and again. Stick insect. I think a few minutes ago I mentioned that sometimes small things come in big packages. That's proven true again with this unique insect, technically called the, bear with me now, the Phryganistria hausiantuensis, or simply a stick insect for us normal folk. In 2014, there was one found in Vietnam that stretched out to a ridiculous length of 12 and a half inches. That's over a foot. This is a bug we're talking about here, folks. Can you imagine seeing a bug in your house that measures longer than a lot of people's feet? No, I mean, seriously, how can you expect to step on it and squash it if it's bigger than your foot? I'm kidding, of course. We're all pro-living things here on The Supreme. These creatures' ability to blend in with common sticks and tree branches has proven effective for quite some time, as the earliest fossils indicate that the sticked insect has been a part of planet Earth for more than 40 million years. That was the 10 largest land creatures on the planet. Some pretty crazy stuff today, right? I mean, the stick bug was sick, but the Komodo dragon is just plain scary. If I had to choose what I thought was the most interesting though, I'd probably have to go with the coconut crab. But what about you? <laughs>